On day 194 of the Donald Trump presidency, we learned that our commander-in-chief told the members of his private New Jersey golf club that the house he currently occupies at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue is a real dump, that was just before, or just after, the president whined about having to scribble his name on a bill levying sanctions on Russia. The Donald called it flawed legislation, but he signed it anyway because he had no choice. Just about every member of Congress held a collective gun to his orange head. He couldn't veto the bill, even if he wanted to. Finally, on day 194, Trump rolled out his very own Uriah Heep, a.k.a. senior advisor Stephen Miller, to basically tell us that Emma Lazarus' poem, New Colossus, the fabled words that grace the base of the Statue of Liberty, are no longer relevant in Trump world. You may recall give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore, send these, the homeless, tempestos to me, I lift my lamp beside the golden door. Miller appeared in the White House press room yesterday, pushing aside the charming Sarah Huckabee Sanders, to announce the words that have defined the spirit of American immigration for nearly two centuries have reached their expiration date. What the country needs now, the president's obsequious mouthpiece suggested, was no more wretched refuse, but people who could speak English, had some walking around money in their pockets, and could get right to work on creating something bigger than Uber or Amazon. Enough with those refugees yearning to breathe free, Miller suggested they were only crowding out the angry folks who voted for the blowhard in the red hat, the president who pledged to build walls, close gates and forget about that statue in New York Harbor. Miller actually tried to run over CNN's Jim Acosta, whose father emigrated from Cuba, shamefully insisting that the creed on the base of Lady Liberty did not actually come over from France with the statue, but was added later. Stephen Miller has turned himself simultaneously into a statue of arrogance and a national monument of ignorance, said Stephen Goldstein, executive director of the Anne Frank Center for Mutual Respect. His subpar knowledge of American history means he couldn't pass President Trump's new immigration test. Therefore, Stephen, please leave.